Hello everybody, my name is Caleb and welcome back to Persona 5. Uh, we finally made it over here and the Shoji playing students here, I believe her name was Hafune. Hey, hey. That's girls playing Shoji. Maybe she's Hafune Togo, the one Yusuke mentioned, why don't you go ask her? Togo-san? <sighs> You're the wrong person. Mm. But she's only the, the only weirdo playing blah 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 blah. I get my charm to suave. Alright, so I gotta become suave. I figured I was suave enough already, but I guess I was mistaken. Alright, let's hit up the diner. We'll drink that tea that's supposed to make us f -f fancy. Actually, before I do that, I should go and take care of... Uh, I'm gonna go check this store. Maybe I can find a book to make me charming. Please, take your time. The ghost encounters. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and buy that and that. I thought he was just a silhouette for a second there. I was like, wow, that guy is really... Yeah. All right. Yo. Okay. You should be grateful. I am. Don't you worry, buddy. Rifles are generally used for shooting games at summer festivals. The pistols are a better choice for that distance. A Tesla coil. Ah, that's good. We're good. Uh, come again. I will, don't you worry. And then I'll help you out whenever you need help, too. Do, do, do. Alright, do I want to work? I want to go work. I want to go ahead and go up here. Let's do this. Hmm. I do have money. Let's go and work on my charm. Fruits inside tea, they both... Ah, they are both fine on their own, you'd think. Oh. Is your skin looking healthier and more strized? Don't tell me that fruit tea is working. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I... All right. hey. Yes, I was able to focus. I don't know what I'm going to work on, that, or how I'm going to get it any better. Oh yeah, I just, if I'd get my, alright, I know what I need to do, I need to get my, um, proficiency up a bit, if I get my proficiency up, then that will get me the edge I need. Oh, also, I, it did a little cutscene of the girl at the computer, and it's, and she seemed to be looking at a medjet with us, so, I don't think she's medjet like I originally thought. I don't know who she is. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. I do. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Hey, Medjad. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. I'm glad. However, it will soon come to an end. And through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Oh, you're gonna tell me? Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. That's the plan, man. I just need some mild guidance, like point me in the correct direction. And I really wish I could have chilled there for a second, because I wanted to go in there. And I forgot to when I was chilling, or when I was up in uh, Shibuya. Oh, well, it's alright. My freaking wrist itches. Good morning. Or forearm, whatever. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. <laughs> I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the fan. These interesting things keep happening this year. 
The influence of corridors. Well, actually, that should be Phantom Thieves. I regret changing it. Knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. Hey. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained or perhaps inconvenienced? Ah, entertained. I see. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know that. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Whoops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to my interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Man, I did that in such a shitty way. <laughs> it was kind of sarcastic. <laughs> Voice I gave him there. I read that in. I don't get it. There hasn't been any news of the Phantom Thieves v. Medjet showdown. Which of them will come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. But you gotta tell me. Who do you think will win? Well, seeing as I'm the main character, I gotta say I'm gonna win. <laughs> hey, your Fourth wall. Uh oh. Was it? I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call. Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You, you're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? This is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? I can give you information on them if, you, if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you How should I respond? Oh, is this a prank? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Mm -hmm. You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Uh oh, spaghetti so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. But um That's possible? Don't ask me everything. Yeah. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Ah. Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? <laughs> An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them, that is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our s But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Are you serious? Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. Arr. I'm certain he'll contact us again. I doubt it's a bad thing. 
This is There's obviously no has to be that somewhere. girl that it's been cut scene into. I know who she is to be honest though. Happens, I've looked, I've, I've watched people play yeah. in this. Or, well I haven't watched anybody play it, so, I've just watched. Somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. I just watched some of the um, scenes. Stuff that's... How about LeBlanc? Stuff that doesn't matter. And I'm sorry I keep talking over top of them. Luckily they got little subtitles, so it's not too horrible. <laughs> but, yes. Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something... No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura. But everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Sure. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right. The store is all yours. All right. We have late breaking news on Medjet, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Uh oh. I wonder what's going to happen. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. What? Medjet also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjet as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thief. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possession. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Jesus. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Talk about somebody fighting. Why the hell well. are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something. Calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, any? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? Uh, Alright, there you go. What the hell's going All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Alright. Oh dear. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Konashiro case. Those on the uh, the on the side others. On the other side, say, Medjet are hackers of justice, but there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro-thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. 
He can look forward to whatever he wants, but we have no means of striking back against Medjet. We're going to be in deep trouble if we don't do something. First, the Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card? What the hell's going on? I guess we're going to see. Damn it, I really wanted to go work on my shit too. Just go and sculpt it into a magnificent sculpture. <laughs> no, I really wanted to, um. Our justice thing's gone down a little bit. Um, I wanted to work on. Proficiency. Damn. I can't read English, sad face. Ugh, again. That's freaking lame. I love it though. It's like we're going to put to put a thing in English and address it to all the Japanese because we're so smart. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Who is it? Did Alibaba message you? Oh, it's Come just for you. Nothing. I mean, let us know as soon as possible. It's like no shit. Like I was gonna keep this to myself. Rudrick and he just never shuts up, does he? Good day! Good day to you too. Ah, you respond today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Fantasies, correct? That's right. And I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? <laughs> well, I really was when I said, Are you at school right now? No, I'm in class. Hmm, you're a student. Surprising, you are a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the culling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Mm, stealing a heart, of course. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a culling card? Hey, hey. I mean, we need the name of the target. What's the target's name? The name is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Well, I suppose past calling cards did have na uh, did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe your name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I sh will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well, then I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who's Futaba Sakura? I can't find the account to send a response to it. Like it is an error message. If he threatened you, then just took off. And Sakura. I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case... Isn't that Sojiro Sakura? We're gonna get reported if we it is! Alright, I was right. I had to look it up though, hell? to be safe. Alright, so... Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name? I don't remember anybody calling him boss before, though. Does he? I remember Chief. We're gonna always call Chief. Wheels? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a... I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being te- Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura 1. That's probably for the- There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is See, about. See, there you go. He's- she I'll check the school's roster just come. in case. Chief. We must make sure boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm. Oh, what's up? What? 
Usutaba Sakura. Why do you know about that? I'm sorry, I didn't. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Damn it, I feel like a dick now. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh, I just remembered. We were about to ask the boss about. He didn't want to talk. Is there any reason as to why, as to why that was? Hmm, Alibaba might be our only hope for defeating my Jedi Witch. We get some info about Futaba out of boss. But trying to force it would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both the boss and Caleb. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for the boss to bring the subject up himself. Hopefully he does it tomorrow because... Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's just a bit. Unless I could do it. No, nope, I can't do it still. I'm really sad. Uh, we don't know what the world's going on. Well, hopefully you can get some information soon, guys, because this is getting annoying. I just really want to get my fucking shit up so I can go talk to the lady. Yo! Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this who took something earlier. If she's related to boss, I think people living nearby would know about her. Yeah. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, Asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Well, let's get to class. I'm just gonna walk away without saying anything. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget there's an urgent assembly on Monday. Ah, why are you crushing my toes for, Buster? You silly dog. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year or something or other. Got it? Don't go someplace shitty like the red light district and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. <sighs> Seems like we won't be having fun in, on our summer break for a while. <laughs> I didn't know cats liked water at all. Mm. Ruji might be right. Why don't we? We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing else to lose. Let's head to Yogan and gather information around the neighborhood. Sounds like a plan, even though I want to work on my proficiency. But whatever. Yes, I know that name. I heard it somewhere before. It's the name of my very first love, my teacher back when I was in elementary school. Let's ask other people too. <coughs> Sakura son, single, right? I thought that. He didn't have any children. Let's ask some other people too. <laughs> no, by the way, do you eat a lot? <coughs> hey, I'm a growing boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's the boss who eats a lot, though. Let's ask some other people. Oh, who's that? I don't think I know anybody by the name, but hey, I'm good. Wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them, though? Let's ask some other people, too. Mm -hmm, nope, don't know anybody even like that. I come to Sakura Sons often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. Let's ask some other people, too. Oh, so this is the two I guess we can't do anything there. Alright, is there anybody else to talk to? Nobody down there. Oh, there's a person. Utaba. No, no, I don't know who that can be. So up until now, our biggest lead seems to be boss bodies a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living alone. Okay. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. This place is close to the long, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Utaba over at Sakura Sons? Haven't heard anything. Sorry, come again. Hmm, we didn't find anything out of us. I, I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. 
this is gonna suck. I still do get to work my proficiency either. <sighs> you read you the read... letter, did you not? Oh. So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. Oh I shit. You're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. You're a bitch right now. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Bang, bang, bitch! Get the fuck out! <laughs> and stay out! You tell her, man. That woman is real good at pissing people off. I can agree with you there. What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that? This doesn't involve you. I know. Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. <sighs> Come on, man. Don't carry the burden by yourself. Mm. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Man, chief, come on, boss man. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try one more day here, and let's see what you can figure out. <laughs> Sorry, Buster, watch your feeties. Watch your mouth. Watch out. Watch out, buddy, I will get you. I will get you. Oh, look at your little face. It's silly and whatnot. It's not really that little. You're a medium sized dog, aren't you? <laughs> a woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Who's your sister? Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of... Ah, there's no way. He's too big of a softie. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? I mean, he could have treated me like shit, but he treats me pretty well fair. I've given you a calling card and told you to target names. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you that I'd help you s if you stole the heart. That seems to be the holdup. I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a sh Well, he does have information on- Anyways, this mm -hmm. Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me your keywords. Few words. What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about that? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any. Want to meet you? Meet with me? That would be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You can't go. Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Hold on. 
I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into... Forget this ever happened, I won't report you to the police either, don't worry. Sorry for taking your time now, if you'll excuse me. Wait a second. I set the deals off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. Ah. Uh. Huh? Did he just shut the... Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep, and now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? No, oh, we're gonna get a message in a second. You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! <laughs> Oops, sorry, Buster. Oh, I'm sorry. I bumped you just a bit, didn't I? Who's your good boy? Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Who's your good Gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, scratch his chin. Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. <laughs> you don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it. Okay? <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay oh, with that who's too, okay, right? Boy. Who's okay? Sushi shrine. Then it's decided. Ooh. Who's right. a good dog? We'll go tomorrow night. Alright, am I gonna... No, I'm not gonna be able to do it, because we gotta do it tomorrow. I wonder if all that Medjus business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal was to target the Phantathies, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too, especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with the countermeasure, regardless. For now, though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That's all we could do. Something's not right. I was thinking it too. I can't really put it into words, though. Hmm, your guess is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me. Oh, did you see the pig thing in the background? I just noticed that. I wonder if that's always been there. All right. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and sleep for now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna get the party in because I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen at the party. Tell them who's just. I bet they're crying though. Which side is a catchy coon on? Name dropping Medjed low. Oh, where's the place at? No. Oh. You seem you see? quite busy, Sai son. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at Ooh. the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. 
However, that is a disguise. Their true oh, are you? is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? You sound There's stupid as shit. That falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. Oh, so that's why they're trying to accuse him, I because see. she had a mental shutdown. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. Good luck. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. I hope Akechi Kun is okay. a reasonable person. Time for sushi. This place is in Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? It's a sushi party that we're going to. Sushi party! Something that I've never really had. Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. I really need to try some. I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it, we got the cash. Man, that just makes me want to try it so bad. <laughs> Is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses. And don't talk! By the way... Is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he... What kind of person is he? Uh, no chance. I really don't believe it at all. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. I don't think so. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the map. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Ooh! He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't see him as that type. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish! That is a pretty. Good thought, though, to be honest. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. You idiot. Crap. Uh, um, f f fan fantastic This sushi is delicious. Y yeah, the fish is so... Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of You big idiot. <laughs> you and Otter are like... apologies for bringing up Boss again. I wish... Talk about phantom thieves and someone called Boss. <laughs> Talk about suspicious. Ijima-san. What are you doing here? Akechi Kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima san? Yeah, pretty much. Do you know this guy? 
It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Marami. I just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die, ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. <laughs> we probably do. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Ah, uh, ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> Should I say? <laughs> You're the suspicious one. Mm -hmm. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what? What the hell are you saying? I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. You're welcome. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. Ooh. I believe that is a fair trade-off for you. Seems like a catchy is interested in me. Hell yeah. Alright. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. I think he does suspect us, even if he doesn't admit it. What was th Do you think he's ascertained our true identity? Nah, couldn't be. I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we True, yep. but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Mejed. Oh yeah, what? Here, I'll we are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves. Hence, we shall proceed with well. our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final offer. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their eyes. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Mejed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm. Sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Mejed will attack Japan. 
Sakura. And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. Let's bring it on, bitches. We'll fuck them up. What are we gonna do about this? We're gonna shut them Only down. We could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We... It's such a weird to see it, hear it called Leblanc. Like, the, the sea is straight up silent. And it even sounds like they're calling it LeBlonde. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we... He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Oh, I'm all confused at what the things Actually, are now. He may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's this leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? Well, but um... So she's asking that we steal her own heart? That's what Maybe I was thinking. she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives near Boss. Will this be okay? I won't ask anything that will get you thrown out. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Or more Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Hmm. Nobody's answered but the lines and think he's napping. Even yeah, boss would have work woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now too if she were here. Uh oh, the gate just opened. Oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go open other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why, that's rather careless. Whoa, it sounds like it's gonna rain, we should get inside. You think that's okay? Probably. My apologies, boss. No, this is terrible, don't do it! Oh, this is gonna be a long video too, damn it. <laughs> I don't like this. Hello, Hello sir. He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can't. hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. Oh, the, this is terrible. I can't watch. Oh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> Scream? How should I? What are you freaking out? I, I, could it be Alibaba? I mean... Oh man, this is creeping me out. Uh, sorry. Aww. <laughs> I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore, I'm leaving! Aw, you chicken. No, my legs won't move. Boo. <laughs> Holy crap, she was quick. Alibaba! Futaba! Hey, come on, where are you? You're a hacker, right? Just... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please save me, sis. I don't like her. Crap, he's... 
Who the hell are you? Don't you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please save me. Oh <laughs> stupid phone call. Sorry guys, I got a phone call. I you, hope you guys don't hear. What are you doing in my house? You are. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? <laughs> well, we're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happen <laughs> and. You kids are here too. Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. Uh, I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we... Huh? You want to ask me? There's... Someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if. Well. Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Poor Sojuro. I get it, though. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. She'll hear us at the shop, too, because she fucking has bugs over there. Or whatever. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always... She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. She left? Question mark? Yes. She committed suicide. Damn it. Suicide? Why does this game have to be filled with so much depression? Shit. Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. That's just... It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But what? That part, she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, 
I hear voices, and Mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Is that what you desire? What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy. Like a normal... Well... That's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. Alright, well. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Uh oh. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. He was in our. So, ever since we went inside Boss. Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. Alright, well, I'm gonna so go ahead and hit this. So, we I think. No, wait, no. Every oh. goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Come on, guys. Let's anyway, get this. Let's contact each other after. Sounds good. All right, hopefully I can go to s hopefully I get a break here. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain. Will changing her heart really help her though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a p Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace? E hey, Morgana. <laughs> hey, there's the kitty cat. So I'm guessing he's going to come check me out before we go to bed. Where am I gonna go? Alright, so there we go. Alright guys, we made it to a checkpoint. We got some big stuff happening tomorrow, that's for darn sure. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Man, this one's a long one. I don't think, if I, I don't think there'll be any trimmings in it either. Cause it was all pretty filled with info. Maybe I could cut it in half, I don't know. Nah. I mean, yeah maybe, no, I'll just go ahead and leave it as one video. I was like, I could put it into two parts, but no, that's be be wasteful. That's just like, eh, what's the point? You guys have to click through two videos. What's the point of that? I'll just leave it all in one. 
<laughs> Anyways, guys. If you like this, if you enjoyed this video, please like. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. Thank, and, um, thank you guys so much for any support, or for all your support and watching the videos. Um, I'm going to keep a head up for live streams on Saturdays and Sundays around 5 p.m. They should be going up. Anytime between 5 p.m. 6 p.m. Eastern, somewhere in that time range is what I'm aiming for. Um... Yeah, that's about all there is to it. Um, that's um anything else I can think of? Uh, no, nope, 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 nothing else. Um, but anyways, yeah, we got some shit going down tomorrow. That's for sure. And apparently, um, Medjed's a bunch of assholes now. Like, what the fuck was that shit? We're, if you don't fucking do what we say, we're gonna destroy your country. What the fuck? <laughs> Talk about some bullshit, right, man? Ah. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next game. Catch you later, taters. <laughs> See y'all later, taters. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.